Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and this is a picture of my top 15 Pokemon that I actually I coloured this half of the picture back in April 2015, and it's been sitting in my to-do pile ever since. Um, I actually went through my to-do pile a couple weeks ago and just put half of the stuff in that pile just into folders because it's never going to get done half the half the stuff I had in that pile. Um, I did leave this this picture sitting in the pile along with a, a line art I did of Osana from Sword Art Online. Um, so I would like to finish this picture at some point, but I kind of I made the huge mistake of deciding to colour it in watercolours because I mean there's so many artists on YouTube and especially Instagram as well uh, where you see people just doing amazing stuff with watercolours and you kind of go oh I want to do stuff like that I want to be able to do that and then you kind of you pick up the watercolours and you're like this why why did I do this <laughs> um, I just find it that they're just so tricky I just can't get the hang of watercolours I've never been able to as well it doesn't come naturally to me whenever I I attempt it and um, because it is something I would love to be to be good at but it just seems to take so long and it's so frustrating and then I end up preferring um, like the way Copix looks or you know just letter set markers or something and I'm like why didn't I just do it in that I could have done it in half the time but yeah so anyway here is a half half a coloured picture of my top 15 Pokemon and um, I have to do Rattata. Rattata is my all time favourite Pokemon. Um, it was like the very first Pokemon I ever caught back in Pokemon Blue back in the day, what was that, early 2000 or something, 2000 or 2001 I got that game when I was like 10 or 12 or 11 or however old I was in that year. Um, but yeah, I always do my Rattatas with blue eyes because I think blue eyes are cuter than the red eyes. And yeah, so I also have um, my little Caterpie that I call PP28. And I have my little Piplup, which um, is probably like... I don't really like modern Pokemon that much. I think Piplup was one of the only Pokemon I liked from uh, that generation. What was that, number four? Pearl and Diamond or something? But I call my Piplup Flipflop because <laughs> for ages I just couldn't remember the name of that Pokemon at all. And I love foxes. Foxes have always been my favourite animal. So um, I always loved Ninetales more than Vulpix for some reason. I didn't like the way Vulpix tails like curled around the way they do. So I've always loved like Ninetales more because it just seems so elegant. And I was lucky enough to have uh, Pokemon Blue which had... Vol uh, Volpex and Ninetales is like the exclusive to that version uh, Pokemon so and then I've got Jolt the Jolteon who uh, he has a really sad backstory of he always wanted to be a Vaporeon and uh, a Thunderstone accidentally fell on his head when he he ran into a into a knocked into like this cupboard and yeah he's always very sad and angry and he accidentally electrocuted the the Vaporeon that he had feelings for and ever since then he's been like really anti-electric Pokemon and attacks people and kind of a bit aggressive just because he's so miserable the whole time. Um, yeah I actually created like in my story I created like this weird mega evolutionary thing where uh, he could like turn, you got this magic stone thing and he could turn into a, into like this Vaporeon Jolteon hybrid thing which was pretty cool. I designed like a a version of him which is kind of a hybrid which was kind of cool and uh, then I've also got my Talonflames. I love Talonflame like um, I was really surprised because like modern Pokemon I don't like very much so um, when they brought out Talonflame I was like oh my god this is such an awesome Pokemon because I love flying Pokemon and but fire is my ultimate like favorite type of Pokemon so they had a flying fire Pokemon and I was just like oh my god I love it so I had like a couple of of those I've got one called in my game called Feathers and another one called uh, Zuko which actually has the Fire Nation symbol on like his chest and his wings like in the design in the pattern um, so yeah, those are those are my talent flames, which I think are quite awesome. 
and um, yeah in the picture I kind of wish I'd put Raichu in the picture because I kind of like Raichu more than I like Arcanine for some reason and I also really like Mew but <laughs> I was kind of I couldn't really fit that in it was getting a bit a bit too much um, but yeah if I ever finish this picture I will uh, upload it at some point and talk about the other Pokemon on the left um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye!